Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today, this time on Cypherium. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. Today we're going to talk about Cypherium. I invested some money into it. I think it's a very good sound investment and I'm going to show you why. So let's take a look. Now we all know about the ISO 222 migration where the banks have to migrate over to the new financial system but then we see this this is what cypherium is and when the one thing that stands out to me is the 6500 plus transaction throughput plus it's it has scalability is high it's decentralization is high the security is high the censorship resistance is high and this is a very good asset so it's a layer one ISO 222 compliant, Fed now, POW plus hot stuff algorithm, 100% permission based, dual chain structure, smart contract supports the Ethereum virtual machine, DCIF, fully decentralized, unprecedented scalability, works with legacy systems, IBM, Google, AWS as partners. Now, on this list, what works where it says works with legacy systems, that can be used to transition legacy systems to the new system, which is very important. So then we see this. Anyone in the XRP community familiar with Ripple competitor, Cypherium, large partnerships like FedNow, Microsoft, IBM, etc., including in China's blockchain service network, along with Consensus, Quorum, and others, could its development be a reason for the SEC to stall tactics? Now we're going to answer that in a few minutes. But can this be the XRP killer? Let's find out. So featured partnerships with industry leading enterprises such as Google, IBM, AWS and Microsoft. Cypherium aims to provide financial inclus inclusivity for its users and cross-chain interoperability to emerging CBDCs. So now we see how it's tied to everything, okay? Cypherium does not compete with Ripple. While Ripple connects banks using XRP, Cypherium allows CBDCs to be issued or synthesized on the blockchain and does not need banks to store coins. You may just hold CBDC in your Cypherium wallet. So it's not a competitor of Ripple. It actually allows CBDCs to be issued and synthesized on the blockchain. Okay, so people I've seen fudding about this on Twitter, you know, saying, well, this is the XRP killer. This is going to, you know, completely, you know, wipe out Ripple and it'll be gone. And that's not its use case. So central banks are not buying Bitcoin, but they'll be buying Cypherium to launch CBDCs on the Cypherium public chain. Now you see how it works? You have to buy it just to launch a CBDC. So think about how much of this coin is going to get bought up by big financial institutions so you are right cypherium blockchains are scammers especially their ceo sky now again more fud so sky it looks like ripple is going to win the case or settle soon what does cypherium do to get clarity in the united states now again people are fudding saying cypherium will not get regulatory clarity inside the u.s but guess what we have zero legal problems in the u.s plus we are working with the fed you see how twitter works when you're buying cryptocurrencies or you're even looking at cryptocurrencies say you go over there and you say well i have a hundred dollars in my pocket i'd like to buy crypto with it now you're going to have somebody come out and say well you should invest that in xrp but then two seconds later, you're going to have somebody come out and say, no, you absolutely do not want XRP. You want this. So then you get lost in that. I wonder how many investors are, you know, soon to be investors went to Twitter first and then decided just not to even invest at all. 
because that's what kind of you know mixed bag you get on Twitter. You get the people that want you to buy into meme coins. You get people that call every single coin that has a use case or utility a scam coin. And then you also get the people who just want to, you know, maybe they're not even in crypto, who say that all crypto is a scam. So you just need to know what you're investing in. And in my opinion, Cypherium is a wonderful investment. And I believe it has a huge amount of upside to it. A lot of utility. A lot of use case. So Cypherium's road ahead. Future plans. And what do we see here? First off, we see CBDC R&D. Continue working with central banks and CBDC research and development. So they're tied to the financial system right out of the gate. So they're going to have regulatory clarity, even in the U.S. So regulated DeFi, collaborated with governments and central banks to introduce regulated DeFi. So Cypherium Wallet, transform Cypherium Wallet into leading instrument for digital identity and everyday payments. You see what I, I always say on this channel, if your cryptocurrency deals in payments and transactions, it's going to be massive in the future. Then we see a payment system establish Cypherium as the global cross-border payment settlement system for CBDCs. That does not make it a crypto or a XRP, you know, killer. All it is is it sets up the payment system. Ripple is going to move the money across the systems. So then we see this on-chain financial instruments realize real-world financial instruments such as stocks bonds derivatives mortgages on chain long-term vision make cypherium the global reserve currency through cbdc adoption global reserve currency now a lot of people say that's what xrp is xrp is more about liquidity odl now i don't think that's where this is going to go I think it's, go, it's more of a CBDC builder and a payment system. It sets up your payment system from one CBDC to another, but Ripple will still move the money in between. So when Cypherium becomes the SWIFT or CBDC, we will make sure to block illegal businesses from accessing it. Cypherium is neutral, but our central banks are not. Cypherium uses a digital currency interoperability framework to create financial inclusion among civilians, banks, governments, and businesses. Now, do you see how big this can get? And it's still very cheap right now. In other words, you would be getting in very early. So, the future of payments is now. PayPal and Apple are part of our daily lives. Cypherium is the way forward, seeking to change the way we transfer save and invest across borders cypherium collaboration with the banks will allow better speed security and access to payments let's go and then we see this cypherium ibm partnership that's all you need to know when you're investing ibm is massive it's building the entire new financial system through its partnerships with every single cryptocurrency that's on the ISO 222 compatibility list. And Cypherium is partnered with IBM. So you think it's not going to be ISO 222 compliant? Think again. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.